Hello guys, in today's video, we want to show you how to connect smart contract to the API calls to pass the data and how to get the data. So on this website, you can see OpenZapel in Defender is the tool that we are commonly using for such situations. And as you can see, uh, there are a lot of different runs in the history, which means that we tried to update the information from the API every single minute. In our case, it was the weather, but we will show you how to use API uh, as you want. So you can pass any argument to that, depending on the API you're getting the information from. So let's start. Uh, let's maybe at first show you which API we use to this video. So it's the Open Weather API. Mm, and here we mainly, after the registration and creating the account, uh, we go for the current weather data API doc. So as you can see, here's a very quick guide how to use the API. Uh, you can also copy the result and get the result in the website. We want to show you how the JSON would look like. So just let's uh, show you. Okay, so here's the JSON and here are the data that you would like to uh, get the information from. So maybe let's copy that to the JSON formatter. And here you can see the results uh, in the very simple and formatted way that you can access every single data without the problem. And uh, our main goal for today's video is to access the, the data called main and the temperature. So first you have to get to the main and then get the temperature, of course. As uh, we mentioned before, you can access every other data you want. So if you don't want to get the temperature, you can get like the minimum, maximum, maybe the pressure, sea level, and green level. It depends only on you. This is our most important contract, weather. It's an oracle which stores the data we want to watch. So in our case, it's temperature. It uh, has uh, somebody responsible for the updating and uh, the only person that can do this uh, because you use a modifier on the relayer so in this case only the address we provide it can change all of the uh, information and we set decimals uh, that's because uh, we can't uh, pass for example like 30.5 uh, celsius to the smart contract so we need to uh, multiply it by uh, the decimals we set and this way uh, we can store the data uh, that's uh, accurate in our smart contract. You can see that we have some getters and setters. So for example, getting relayer and setting relayer to easily set the relayer address. We have uh, get temperature, get rounded temperature so that it's more user friendly. Uh, users don't need the big number that will be uh, multiplied by the decimals. And uh, what's next? Uh, we have get decimals and that's about it in this smart contract. So it's rather simple, and uh, most of the logic is stored in our Defender Autodesk script. So let's go to the Defender. And in this video, we won't be showing you all of the details and uh, information about the Defender and how to use it, because we already have a video in which we created a mechanism which means NFTs every one minute. And in this video, we explained everything more in detail. Of course, all of the links will be in the description uh, as uh, well as the repository we are using here so our smart contracts and autodesk script but let's go back to defender and uh, what we want to do here is make sure we have a relayer so you just create a new relayer you set a name network in our case we use girly and then when you are done and you have a new relayer you can go to settings and have all of the information here and so when you are done you're ready to create autotask so go to the next step and in the autotask uh, tab now you have some um, autotask if you already created any but if not you can create a new one so let's create a new autotask and call it weather2 and use a schedule mechanism that will run every one minute and so we have to connect our relayer, so newly created girly relayer. And so you need to make sure that this address has enough if to 
uh, create all of the send all of the transactions later. And so now we can see that we have the default JavaScript code, which we can replace with the one we provided in our repository. So uh, let's go through this first. You can see that we start with some constants. So we have ABI and address. Of course, in a minute, we will need to deploy the smart contract or weather smart contract, provide the information here. We have decimals, so four, because we can't pass the decimal points to the smart contract. We need to pass a bigger number. So for example, like with if that uses way instead, uh, we use decimals, which is four here. We have Axios because we will send API requests to the weather API. We have iters to connect to the smart contract, and we have vendor libraries that uh, we will use here. Down below, uh, this is where the Autodesk starts. So we have our handler, which gets the provider, signer, pretty much default Autodesks. And then we have our function, which is get weather data, which tries to call the weather API. Uh, it sets uh, lat, long, and uh, API key. So here you need to paste your API key and uh, the coordinates of the place you want to check. In our case, it can be anything. So if you go to the browser and say Warsaw.long, you get the coordinates you can use. So let's go back. Then we get the response and we need to get uh, data and from the data main and temp because uh, this was the information we want. So uh, temperature in Celsius. Then we need to run the temperature and multiply it by uh, 10 to the power of the decimals, so 4. To have the information we can send to the smart contract. If something goes wrong, we just print it in the console and return no. So then, uh, when the get weather data returns the temperature, we use it and we pass it to the main function. And in the main function, we connect to our smart contract using the address and ABI signer, so the relayer account. And then we use the update temperature a function in our smart contract and send the temperature there. So that's it in this Autodesk. So we can copy the code and paste it in our Autodesk creator. And uh, now what we need to do, we need to deploy our smart contract. So let's move to Remix. And uh, here I'll use Injected Provider because I want to deploy it on Gerly. So now I'm making sure I'm on Gerly and uh, I'm ready to save and uh, deploy the weather smart contract. And uh, what I need to do here is I need to provide the relayer address. So the only address that will be authorized to uh, set decimals and update temperature. So let's go to Defender and copy the relayer address. Our contract is deployed, so we can expand it, see all the functions, and uh, now let's copy the address of the smart contract and paste it here to the address constant. And let's copy the ABI. Copy the ABI, just go here and copy the ABI. And now, what I need to do uh, to make it cleaner, uh, find something like bring to one line converter, any tool, and uh, this one doesn't work, so let's get the next one. And convert it to one line. And so we can go back to Fender and paste it here. And the last step is to set the uh, last and long, so in my case, 52 and 21, approximate.
and our API key. And if everything looks all right, we can create the Autodesk. Our Autodesk is ready. And as you can see, it already started running some scheduled tasks. And uh, I also triggered a few manual ones. You can trigger it anytime you want uh, using the run Autodesk now. You need to, again, make sure that Girly really has an if to run all the transactions, otherwise you will get some errors. But uh, let's try to run a new transaction. You can see that after a while it returns the logs and uh, you can see that the temperature was updated to 195,000. This is because of the multiplying by 10 to the power of decimals so that we can pass the number to the smart contract. And uh, in fact, it would be approximately 19.5 Celsius. So let's go to our smart contract and see whether it was updated. Uh, so if you click on the get temperature, we indeed get the number. And uh, if we click on the get rounded temperature, we get 19. So that's what we wanted. It's floored. If you want, you can adjust the rounding. For example, uh, it could go up to, uh, to 20 or do whatever you want with it. And uh, now we have our Oracle smart contract that uh, has the updated information and the temperature will change every time it changes. So every minute or longer if the temperature stays the same. But we also created a new client that uses this weather Oracle and we called it manager. And uh, here you can see that it takes the Oracle's address and then has a very simple function which gets the rounded temperature from the oracle and returns the string by calling the temperature for example freezing cold moderate or whatever so it's a very simple smart contract but it's an example on how to use the oracle in a real client so let's copy the weather contract address paste it here and deploy the manager too The manager is deployed, so let's see how it works. We click on the check temperature and it returns moderate because it's below 20. So it works as it should. And uh, that's it. We accomplish uh, what we wanted in this video. So we have our Autodesk, which will run every minute or whenever we call it, or in a different time span we set. And it will update, uh, keep the data updated for us in our smart contract. So when you are done, make sure to stop the Autodesk so that it doesn't take all of your money from your Relayer. If you leave it on overnight, it can use all the money from your account. That's it in this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to check our other videos. We will uh, put the link in the description. Uh, we have uh, a lot of other videos related to Defender with uh, governance and uh, tally voting system so make sure to check them and uh, thanks and see you next time